Hi folks, it's Ron. Hey, in this video, I will specifically show you how to find a breaker in an electrical panel using Ideal's SureTrace circuit tracers here. Now, if you'd like to know more about the circuit tracers from Ideal Industries, you can find them on our website or contact our customer service department to learn more about how you can actually get your hands on one. Well, the circuit tracer can be used in either open or closed circuits, and it's rated for up to 600 volts AC or DC. And it's also a Cat3 rated tester, so you can safely use it in a distribution panels and out throughout a building, actually. And you can use it to identify breakers and fuses in electrical panels and to trace wires really throughout a building. Now, if you are using the circuit tracer to work with live circuits, folks, please be safe out there and follow good industry safety practices in the process. Now, the tracers consist of a transmitter and a receiver here. Now, the transmitter produces a unique signal onto a circuit to be traced. The receiver detects that unique signal when placed in the proper orientation to the wires being traced or breakers being identified. Now, the receiver provides a numeric value and a variable pitch tone that increases as the signal becomes stronger. Now, step one is to plug the transmitter into the circuit being traced. Now, holding the receiver near the transmitter shows it is receiving a signal and the lightning bolt symbol indicates power is present on that circuit. Now, whether the circuit is open or closed greatly affects the signal strength of the electromagnetic field being generated by the transmitter. In an open circuit, no current really flows, so the electromagnetic field produced is much weaker than we want. However, in a closed circuit, the injected voltage also induces a vo current flow that produces a much stronger electromagnetic field, which is what we really want. Now we can do this by simply placing a load, like a lamp, on the furthest outlet in the circuit and turning it on. This is the optimum method for tracing as this much stronger signal allows the receiver to detect the signal from a greater distance away from the circuit being traced. Now the receivers have four sensitivity modes with great resolution from 0 to 99. And the four sensitivity modes really help in trying to trace cabling and can get you fairly close to a cable you're looking for, and by changing the sensitivity, you can kind of zero in on the right cable. Now, step two is to take the receiver and set it to its lowest sensitivity setting, or what we call the breaker mode. Then step three is to go back to the electrical breaker panel and properly identify the breaker by slowly scanning each of the breakers with the receiving unit and looking for the breaker with the highest rating. Now, this may take a couple passes to identify the breaker with that highest uh, signal. And, and we recommend starting in the upper left corner of the breaker panel and holding the nose of the receiver at a right angle to the breaker over the location where the branch circuit conductor is going into the breaker, which is towards the outside of the breaker. Now, scan around in a consistent manner, keeping the orientation of the receiver the same throughout the entire scan and be sure to go around the breakers completely once, noting the area where you obtain that highest reading. Now be sure that all the breakers have been scanned, and on the second scan, confirm the observations and determine the breaker with the highest reading. Now to double check your findings, you can tilt the receiver up and down about 45 degrees. Now the reading should stay fairly stable. Uh, do not twist the receiver. Now, if you note that they do not stay stable, then maybe this may not be the right breaker. And be sure the nose of the receiver is centered on a conductor located underneath where the panel where the, it goes actually into the breaker itself. And again, the nose should also be on the outer edge of the breaker. Now, due to wiring techniques beyond our control, it may be necessary to remove the panel cover and touch the individual conductors going into those breakers to sense the presence of the signal for optimum accuracy. Now, once identified, you can trip that breaker and the lightning bolt symbol indicating power will turn off on the receiving unit, indicating the transmitting unit no longer detects power on that circuit. And of course, this tells me with a quick look at the receiver that I tripped the right circuit breaker. Now, make sure to hold the tip of the receiver on the face of the breaker in the orientation shown for best results. And following these steps, when identifying a breaker at an electrical breaker panel, will help you find the correct breaker using the circuit tracer. Again, call Ideal Customer Service or, to learn more or visit our website to find about a distributor nearby you that stocks the Ideal Circuit Tracers. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.